Because of its irregular boundary lines, the plain at West Point has been arbitrarily marked off. We have the initial line and the final line. Notice that these lines are parallel to Jefferson Road. At the beginning of the ceremony, the battalion supply officers take their posts on the initial line. These are the positions of the battalion supply officers. 1st Battalion, 1st Regiment, 2nd Battalion, 1st Regiment, 1st Battalion, 2nd Regiment, 2nd Battalion, 2nd Regiment. At adjutant's call, the battalion supply officers move off and establish the right flank of their respective battalions on the initial line. Before the ceremony, the adjutants have taken their positions on the final line. This formation permits each to later move out and establish the right flank of his unit. The brigade adjutant's position puts him on the right flank of the corps. Next, adjutant 1st regiment, adjutant 1st battalion 1st regiment, adjutant 2nd battalion 1st regiment. And on the other side of the plane, Adjutant's 2nd Regiment, Adjutant's 1st and 2nd Battalions. The Regimental and Battalion Sergeants Major stand beside their respective Adjutants. At Adjutant's call, the Adjutants and Sergeants Major move off to take their posts on the final line. The Adjutants establish the right flanks of their respective units. These are the positions of the Adjutants, of the Brigade, 1st Regiment, 1st Battalion 1st Regiment, 2nd Battalion 1st Regiment, 2nd Regiment, 1st Battalion 2nd Regiment, 2nd Battalion 2nd Regiment. The Sergeant's Major establish the left flanks of their respective units. The number of paces between officers are as follows. Between adjutants and sergeants major of the same battalion, 64 paces. Between a sergeant major of one battalion and an adjutant of another battalion, and between the two sergeants major at the extreme left, six paces. Between the adjacent sergeants major and adjutants, and between the three adjutants at the extreme right, three paces. To assist cadet commanders in maintaining symmetry, two flags are placed on the plane to indicate the original line of march. This line is parallel to Jefferson Road, not Thayer. The 1st Regiment marches to the right of the imaginary line. The 2nd Regiment marches to the left of the line. Companies follow successively at 30 paces. and execute left turn to move into position. Company commanders, as soon as the left turn has been started, direct their right guides to move forward to the initial line. The first company of the 1st Battalion is halted at the line and comes to order arms as the guidon bearer comes to order guidon. The company commander then faces to the front and cadet officers come to order saber. The same procedure is followed by all companies. After the entire battalion has come on line, the battalion supply officer will leave his post and proceed to the position shown on the diagram. He will then present the battalion to the battalion commander. After his battalion has been presented, a battalion commander moves his unit forward and then directs the guides to take their position on the final line. As nearly as possible, corresponding battalions of each regiment should move forward from the initial line at the same time. Battalion adjutants quickly align the guides on the final line and as soon as the battalion has halted, move to their position in the battalion commander's staff. Now the second battalions of each regiment are moving up to the final line. As battalions complete coming on the line,
The staff of the 1st Regiment advances from the flank to take its position. On the other side of the plane, the 2nd Regiment staff is doing the same. Regimental adjutants will take positions six paces in front of the regimental staff after all companies have been dressed like this. The adjutant has the regiment execute present arms. Then faces about, salutes, and moves to his place in the staff. The regiment commander facing his troops draws saber and brings the regiment to order arms. His staff moves around to take position behind him. The corps is now in position on the final line. Let's take a look at a schematic representation of it. First of all, we have the 16 companies and the colors. The interval between companies is six paces. The interval between battalions is 12 paces. The regimental commanders are center and 24 paces from the regimental front. The regimental staffs are two paces behind their respective commanders. To complete the setup, add now the brigade commander and his staff the brigade adjutant being midway between the brigade commander and the brigade. Next in the ceremony is officers front and center. You now see the cadet officers moving into this formation. But for clarity, let's go back and build this formation from its basic unit, the company. These guides represent the four platoons of a company. The troops have been removed more clearly to show the execution of officers front and center. At officers, all cadet officers come to carry saber. At front, the following actions take place simultaneously. The leaders of even-numbered platoons step forward one pace. The second in command moves from the rear along the interior flank of the company to the line of even-numbered lieutenants. The leaders of odd-numbered platoons step forward three paces. The guidon bearer comes to carry guidon. On the command center, all officers and guidon bearers face to the center and step off on the brigade adjutant's command, march. All ranks of company officers except the rearmost one, oblique toward the center. Officers, when they reach their position in the formation, make a distinct halt and a distinct facing in cadence. This is the result that is accomplished. Here are the troops, the seconds in command, and leaders of even-numbered platoons, leaders of odd-numbered platoons, guidon bearers, company commanders, battalion commanders and staffs, regimental staffs, regimental commanders. Between regimental commanders and their staffs, two paces. Between battalion commanders and company commanders, four paces. The rearmost rank does not oblique. Consequently, the distance between it and the troops stays at one pace. All other distances, four paces. When the formation is complete, the second in command of the right company nearest the colors commands forward march. and halts the group when the regimental commanders are within six paces of the brigade commander. Officers and guidon bearers exchange salute with the brigade commander. This sequence occurs in eight counts. Let's look at it again. Halt, one, two. Officers salute the brigade commander. Three, four. 
The commander returns the salute. Five, six, all come to carry saber together. Seven, eight. The brigade commander then commands. Officers post, march. The group moves toward the color. and is halted by the senior regimental commander at its original starting position. His commands are, officers halt, post, march. Officers move off in succession at four paces distance. To avoid cutting through the line of lieutenants, the two interior company commanders move off together after all lieutenants have started their return march. Each guidon bearer moves forward as his company commander comes abreast of him. The company commander and guidon bearer halt together on reaching their positions and face in cadence. The commander faces his company. The guidon bearer faces front. When passing in review, companies maintain a 20 pace distance. Eyes right is executed six paces before and ready front is executed six paces after passing the reviewing party.